and welcome to this new tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about how to add a shadow to a transparent image such as a PNG or a transparent video would work as well. So first, of course, you're going to need your transparent image and I'm also going to make a background. So project add title clip and mine is just going to be this light green. You'll notice I have three tracks here for a video. You'll need at least three. You'll need three and then, well, if you want more, be my guest, you know. So first I'm going to add my PNG on top. And what you'll notice is that it's quite big and I don't want it that big. So I will just add a transform effect and make it smaller. Then once my clip uh, does everything I want, like size wise and maybe movement wise as well. Like if, I, if you want it to pop out, you should do it now. So I'll just do that actually quickly. Uh, so 1% at the beginning, smooth and it's going to be quite fast. And I'll just copy and paste my clip so that I have two clips doing exactly the same thing. I will just hide the top one because I want to see what I'm doing on the bottom one. I'm going to add brightness and I'm also going to add grayscale. So the grayscale will make my shadow gray and the brightness will make it like either black or gray or white or whatever color you want in the gray spectrum, of course. So I like it pretty dark, so I'm just going to keep it here. And then I'm going to need to add some blur. So blur. And the only one that works with transparent images is box blur. So I'm just going to select it. There's two of them. Um, only one of them is the good one. So if you can't find the good one, just try again. I don't really like box blur because it looks weird when it's at a high value, but when it's low, it's okay. Especially since it's going to be mostly hidden here. So yeah, just choose a value that seems okay. And then if you show the top track again, you'll see the difference. And yeah, okay. You can also uh, make your shadow move in the background. Uh, for example, like imagine if you have a light moving the shadow, like if the light is moving from left to right, the shadow is moved from right to left, for example. So for example, here on my first real keyframe, I can have it a bit to the left, my shadow, and then a few keyframes later, I have it a bit to the right, you know. So that would look like this. And of course, this works with any transparent PNG. So if I take this image here and I just copy and paste it to have it twice. And if I copy all of my effects from my bottom one here, I just remove the transform because I don't really want it. And now we have a background, um, a shadow on this one. You can see the difference here. Right now you can see that it's a bit uh, different. If I just put the brightness all the way down, it should be all black. So that's nice to know if you just want a black thing. And if you want like a gray thing, but that you don't want to lose the colors, you can add two brightness effects. So one that makes it black and then another one that will make it gray. So like, it's not the same to have two brightness, one and zero and one higher and to have just one brightness less high. So yeah, that's something that maybe you can use. So yeah, this is pretty much it. It would also work with a video, as I said, or also with like alpha shapes or with a rotoscoping. You could also use the feathering instead of adding a blur. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a comment, like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.